Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another Live with Blitzy. We have a lot in store for you today. We have Heidi here because it's Tuesday, and we also have another special guest that will ma be making their appearance for the first time here on Blitzy. If you were on Periscope during our little reminder that we're going live, then you already know who our special correspondent That's is right. today. So stay tuned for that. We'll do that in just a minute. But I want to do a quick rundown of all the things that we're going to cover. We have the new Primo watercolor products. Mm -hmm. So their watercolor coloring book and the confections. Can't wait to show you guys those. Again, we have Heidi here, our yarn correspondent, so she's got some fun stuff to share with you. We also have some jewelry to show you from yeah. Bee Giant that you're um, gonna yeah. do. Yeah. And then we have a huge color crush sale going on right now, so we'll show you some of those items as well from Webster's. But first, let's go see Emily and our special guest. <laughs> Hey guys, so I was on chat a little bit. I actually just put my computer to the side. I mentioned I couldn't type very well right now because I'm on special co-host duty. Everybody meet. This is Lulu. Oh, hi. She is, Fa Claudia is fostering her right now through Paws Chicago. So she is going to be visiting our office a little bit over the next couple weeks. She's a retriever mix. She's super cute she uh i don't know so she's up for adoption um i don't know that she's gonna make it out of this building i think that there's kind of a waiting list for her already that's starting with katie so we'll see if she becomes a permanent blitzy dog but if you're in the area and no one here takes her first she is up for adoption in a couple weeks through pause chicago so good luck with that guys oh my God. <laughs> No, for real though, anyone that knows me, I had a golden previous to Molly and I always have golden envy. I love golden retrievers, and but I also love rescuing dogs. Yes. And so I've always kind of been like, if a golden just happens to fall into my lap, maybe I'll do another dog. Well, this dog <laughs> literally, literally <laughs> fell into my lap yesterday. So we'll see. Molly met her this morning oh and God. they're doing well, but I don't know. If I don't take her, I think... There's two other people that have already said that they might, so she's we'll see. She's the sweetest, too. Anyway, she's super calm and adorable. I'm like, I, I know I want a dog, but I think it, I've, I've passed that right now. Like, later on, maybe, but right now it would be a really bad idea for well, me to go get a puppy. Well, you've got a couple of babies on the way. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so I'm like, well, I'm like, you're really sweet, but I'm like, I can't. Like, I need to stay focused. Maybe in, you know, a year or two You get after your puppy babies. fix here at Blitzy. That's right. That's right. I get to do all the loving and, like, you know, the petting and whatnot without the responsibility quite yet. So, anywho. All right. So, now we're going to actually go into some crafty stuff. Thanks for bearing with us with our puppy love. But we have Prima watercolor products that were launched at CHA this year in January. It's the new coloring book. Yep. The resist pads, mm -hmm. right? And the then yeah, the paintables mm -hmm. and then the watercolor confections, which are cute little watercolor tins. So, Megan, what do you have? I know she's All been right. busy playing with this. Let's start hours. with the watercolor confection. So, these are actually little mini watercoloring sets, and I did a couple of swatches here, or a few swatches here, so you guys can kind of see what the colors look like. But what's great about these tins is that they're small, and they have this little hook on the back, so you can actually put your thumb in there, and when you're on the go, they open up, and you can actually paint on the go. You can mix your colors. And I know when we were at CHA, I forget, what booth we were at but there was a girl there who I don't know if it was this one but she had a little mini set and she was actually designed the go, the go watercoloring, watercoloring and sketching and we're like where did you get that that's amazing so these are awesome because obviously they're nice and compact but you can also take the trays out and move this to the side here and then if you want to you know work specifically with a you know a color the little pans also come out so it's removable they you know clip right back into place. So this one is I think it's the decadent decadent pies. Decadent pies. And then we one. have the tropicals, mm -hmm. which is I think tropicals. is this one, mm -hmm. and the classics, which yeah. we have. So yes. there's three sets. You get twelve colors in each set. Yes. Um, I would say that the classics is a really good starter set mm -hmm. for the as far as color wise yeah. go because you can kind of mix these colors to create more colors. Yep. Um, this is really fun for like spring coming yes. up and floral and all the quotes in the coloring book and stuff look good with the, uh, what is it called? The, uh, 
the watercolor and coloring book? What's no this called the tropicals? The tropicals. The tropicals. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say the botanics, but it's <laughs> close. The close. tropicals. We're super close. And then this, I love the metallics that we have in this set here, and a lot of neutral yeah. kind of earthy tones in there a as more well. More subdued. And I mean, I, like I said, I did some swatches here so you can kind of see because it's hard to tell because obviously they're a little bit darker in the pans, but yeah, you can just kind of see the colors how how rich and vibrant they are, and you can see. Well, hopefully, you can see. You know, these are some of the metallics from the decadent um, decadent pies. What's it called? Decadent pies. Decadent pies. Yeah. So you can kind of see, hopefully, some of the metallic there um, from the decadent pie. So I just love all three of these. I think all the colors are just so so pretty. So, and you can take it on the go. A couple of these ones look good for like skin tones. Yeah. If you want to do some mm -hmm. of like the Julie Nutting type yeah. designs or the dolls and stuff, and a lot of the darker colors for maybe animals and things like that. So. I mean, they all serve a different purpose. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, huh. and they're small, Depending so you can like, you I mean, for. you can stack them. You know, you can, like you said earlier, you can take them on the go. So they're nice and compact. So if you're looking to kind of get started into watercoloring and you don't want to like buy an entire set, these are obviously nice and small, and they fit in the palm of your hand. So take them on the go, and then as far as storage goes, you're not going to be taking up a ton of room if you're just kind of trying out the whole watercoloring thing, but you're not sure if you're actually going to continue with it. It's a nice way to kind of not go too overboard. Mm -hmm. um, but I will say that these are artist quality, so you are getting, even though they're small, you are getting a nice high quality um, pigmented um, watercolor paint. So. These so, are awesome. Yeah, and I've heard a couple of different reviews. I was watching some videos this morning on YouTube, and some were saying that they're, they lend more towards the student quality, mm -hmm. so they're a lot more affordable yeah. than like some of those really more expensive watercolors. Yeah. So like Megan said, if you're just getting started and yeah. you want something to kind of kick you off, this is a really inexpensive way yeah. to do that, but they are really nice quality yeah. as well and super vibrant. They're I know, that's important. what I like about it is the vi how vibrant they are. Um, and then we also mentioned some kind of coloring um, books and whatnot. So we actually have the Prima paintables and oops, these are six by six paper pads and you're going to get 12 sheets in each pad. And what's great about these is that you're getting six black and white, or uh, it's more of a cream and white, or cream and black rather, um, design. And then you have a coordinating, and it's gonna be hard to see, but a coordinating resist page that matches the black and cream page. So um, you can pair these two together. Um, obviously you can you know, use them by themselves, but I love that you're getting so the same. So the resist, mm -hmm. since it's hard to see on the camera, this resist is the same pattern as the exactly. black here, except when you paint over this, you won't go. You won't paint over that pattern. Exactly. So, okay. Exactly. So, um, and there, and all the pages are the watercolor paper. So you can watercolor. Even though this obviously doesn't have the resist on it, it's still that watercolor paper. So it's thicker. Um, so you can use your watercolors on it. But like I said, you're getting six designs. Um, one of the the kind of cream and black color here, and then the coordinating resist pattern. So we have what is this? This is the tales of you and me. And then Claudia did. Um, she used some of the resist papers and she created these really pretty tags. So, I mean, you can Very take cool. the patterns and turn them into tags or whatever you want or add them. She just kind of cut out um, some rectangles here and she punched a hole, but you could even just kind of layer these on a card or a layout or whatever, but really, really pretty. And hopefully you guys can see that resist there. So if you guys are familiar with the Cosmo Cricut Just Add Watercolor, mm -hmm. we've shown those before, and this is the same concept, just totally different designs than you get with that. Where yeah. But the same concept of the resist and being able to watercolor over it. And these have more of kind of like a vintage vibe to them, where yeah. the other one's kind of more water, uh, more modern, kind of, you know, on trend. These are kind of more vintage. And I'm, I'm glancing down, it looks like these six by six pads are less than $5. Oh, nice. So you get 12 paintable sheets in here yeah. for less than $5. I mean, How that's can you go wrong with that, right? a huge deal. We've linked everything we're talking about below, so make sure you scroll down. And then, of course, Emily can help with links if you guys need anything in the chat, too. Um, and then there's four different designs. So we did the Tales of You and Me. This one is Salvage District, and this is, um, you can see there's like some frames, some kind oh, of like letters. Um, so just some, some fun designs here, a little more ornate. And once again, you're getting the resist along with the, the actual patterns. This one is Vintage Emporium. You can see more of that kind of vintage vibe, some kind of vintage clocks here, a little thermometer, some really pretty florals. Um, just kind of vintage kind of signage. So really pretty designs in this pack as well. And then the final one is 
the French Riviera, so kind of beach inspired. I'm trying to find. So this is the kind of cream and, and black design. And I took the resist and I just used one of my spritzes. I didn't even use the water. I just sprayed it with one of my distress inks or distress sprays. And then just this, I cut out of the actual paper and used my watercolor to fill that in and then just added it to Very cool. uh, my card. And then that all resisted there. Yeah. So this is the coordinating resist that goes with this um, actual print. So as you can see, like you could add it together, you know, use them, use them separately, but I just love that all I did was spray that and that's the effect that I got. Where did you get the saltwater sea breeze? That was in here as well. So I just, just cut, cut that it up so you can coordinate yeah. the pages together too. Very cool. And there's the there's the resist one, but I took the paper pad or the sheet out, but I just cut it out and then just added it to the paper. Very cool. So you can use it with um, your watercolors, obviously any mists or sprays you have with the resist. So lots you can do with these pretty little paintable pads. Next up, I think is my favorite part, yes. which is. You guys know we love coloring around here and we love watercoloring and coloring books and all of that. Now it's been kind of combined into one mm -hmm. where Prima came out with a watercolor coloring book. So all of the pages are actually watercolor paper and you can use your watercolors in them to just color them in. So it's taking the best of yes. two worlds and bringing them into one. So I what do we it. have here? So I know when we were at CHA, we saw this and we're like, whoa, 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 watercolor coloring book? Like, oh my gosh. So these, or this book here is great because like Katie said, you can watercolor it, but they have really cute um, patterns with really fun quotes on them. So if you're looking for home decor, when you're done um, creating or adding your paint to these, you can frame them. So I'll just kind of thumb through here. You can kind of see some of the different quotes and the designs. Do that pretty floral. Um, this one's really sweet. Just a little house, which you know, or I'm with you, I'm home. I am home. So I love that. So cute. And these are eight by ten, so yes. the perfect size for framing for like a gallery wall or just on its own in your home. It's very prima. I feel like the designs are very prima. They kind of have that really pretty kind of script font throughout. How cute is that? So you know, just really fun quotes that you can choose. Inspirational, yeah, kind of uplifting. Put this in your sewing studio. I love that little vintage sewing machine. So. I love these because they're totally customizable, and you can see I kind of started doing one there, but um, and like Katie said, they're perfect for framing. Stay golden. There's one for our puppy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Speaking of which. <laughs> oh, wait. We have to go say hello to Emily for one god. second. Um, I just glanced over. <laughs> oh my and god. I think we're boring. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to hand her back over to Megan, but then she was like, no, no, I'll just take a nap here. It's fine. So I'm just, I work around the dog. It's totally fine. Um, <laughs> wow. She so is cute. exhausted. My God. Live your dreams, you know? Don't Live your fall. Dreams. Don't fall. <laughs> Don't fall. <laughs> Keep you at the table. Um, so yeah, so we had some fun with some of these sheets. Um, Megan did this little enjoy today, and she did really pretty, you know, colors in the flowers, which... I'm loving this because I'm so ready for spring and like bright Me colors too. and this is just like spring is on its way so like enjoy today. And then I just did a little like don't stop keep going and then I just flick some paint so you can take this then and add it to a frame and then throw it up this on the wall. This would be awesome for our craft studio like just have yeah. it up there with bright colors. And yeah. So, so lots fun. you can do um, with the watercolor coloring book. So, so many watercoloring things to choose from today. Uh, up on Blitzy, so. Exactly, and you can also use your watercolor pencils if you have those from yeah. Prima from, mm -hmm. I think, a year ago or so. We've got a bunch of those here. So some of the designs are a little bit smaller, and so your watercolor pencils might do you favors in that respect. I think my name yeah. is one. I was using the paints on this, and then I actually used my watercolor pencils on the flower. Okay. So Yeah, so we're, so we're on the can, same page. Yeah, so you can use both. Um, and obviously you get, you know, gorgeous results from both of them. So very cool. So yeah. So how do people like the watercolor products from Prima? Emily, do we have any feedback yet? Um, people are really liking these products. I think they love that they're so like portable. Um, someone mentioned, you know, I spend so much time waiting for my daughters at their dance class. I'm just hanging out in our truck. This is perfect for me to take on the go. Um, the watercolor coloring book, obviously I think they're as in love with coloring books as we are. So this is a great way to blend two mediums that you might be really interested in and then also frame your artwork or give it as a gift. 
Someone also mentioned that the watercolor coloring book does make a great gift, especially for Mother's Day, which we are already thinking about. We've had a couple, at least one video already go out of ideas for Mother's Day cards. So you're on the same train of thought as we are. Yeah, when they stay great, for sure. great gift set. The paints. Easter baskets are another thing oh, that are yeah. in my brain. If you have like a teenage mm -hmm. girl and you have no idea what to put in her Easter basket because you still give them Easter baskets. I know you do. That's, That's right. a great idea to throw in there yeah. and have something fun for them that they can actually use yeah. from their Easter basket. I love like kind of the, you know, non-traditional kind of gifts like obviously instead of doing you know the normal like oh like the candy whatever like this is actually something you can use it's you know water coloring book mm -hmm. you know watercolor something that you can actually physically do instead of be like oh I just ate a bunch of candy and like it's over like no right. I have an activity that I can now do so I love the idea for an Easter gift and as a crafty mom I know I would love to get that yeah. for Mother's Day so Ryan, yeah I'm yeah, watching Ryan <laughs> I'm curious he isn't maybe. coming in your sweater yet today but <laughs> maybe all right, so I'm glad that everybody's loving the watercolor as much as we are. Again, we've linked it all below so you can easily find it. If there's anything you're having trouble finding, just let us know and we will get you links for that. We're going to actually bring Heidi, our yarn correspondent, yarn correspondent. in. Tuesday Yay. is yarn day. Yay. And she's got some fun stuff to share. So I Heidi, love this. Yes. <laughs> I love that it matches the dogs as well. Yes. well. We'll go back to her in a few minutes. But uh, yeah. tell us what you're going to show today. Well, these knitting needles you might notice are kind Those of are like giant. weapons. <laughs> Those are legitimately like weapons. Like yeah, you can't flatten those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I. If these are I haven't tried flying with these needles. These are size fifties, um, but I have gotten. I feel like I, the the times I get questioned by TSA are when I fly with really small needles or really large needles. Yeah. they're like I don't. Know what's happening here? Like, oh, I can't bring this on the plane. They're like, I'm sorry. Guys. What, what, are you, what is that anyway? Are you yeah. gonna like clean your steak? Yeah, yeah. seriously, seriously. Yeah. So yeah, this cowl that I'm wearing is huge. It's an infinity scarf or cowl, whichever yeah. phrase you prefer. Um, and I made this using the giant size 50 needles and three skeins of Lion Brand Quickie yarn. Um, the skeins are little skeins like this, uh, but the yarn, I was going to use um, some scraps of the yarn to show you how thick it was, but then I saw a puppy and was like, I'm sorry, nope. we need to decorate. We got to put the cowl on the puppy. We need to yes. decorate you. It's a must. But you can kind of see it here um, in the top down shot how thick it is. It's kind of, it's an acrylic and wool blend yarn, so it feels a lot like real, real wool. That's oh, a hard yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. to say um, and it's wrapped in thread and so I really really enjoyed working with this I actually knit this whole cowl while my husband and I were at the movies on Sunday she's like I'm sorry really? yeah I'm sorry I'm not taking it to the movies I'm not really gonna be present but it's fine I got something to do honey it's fine yeah. I just bring a tote bag with my yarn ready to go like the ends ready and I just like and you can just like one that is awesome. movie and yeah. do the <laughs> multitasking at its finest right you know, date night movie <laughs> Cow. <laughs> That's like, people are like, wait, did you just make a scarf during that? It's like, yeah, what's up? What'd you do? Huh? Well, I love that you can do it that quickly. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. just like a one sitting project. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely called Quickie for a reason. Okay. Um, and I like, I ordered this yarn on Blitzy and I was like, this might be kind of crazy. Like it might feel really like plasticky mm -hmm. or artificial, but it's still got... Um, I think nice. it's like a 22% oh, yeah, wool content, so that helps it feel really nice yeah. and also look really nice. Yeah. And I really like how they blended the different fibers together, and it's almost like a watercolor. I'll take yeah. it so and I think it. it's cool because the yarn itself has so much detail that it looks like you did some sort of, I don't know, yeah. something crazy yeah. to make it look like you know the different colors and like the weaving throughout, but it's just yeah. the yarn. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I really, I was really impressed with this yarn, I've got to be honest. And it comes in a few different colors. This this is the fruity colorway, oh. and so there's like really nice purples and blues and sky blues and like a really nice bright pink. Yeah, yeah. But, bright pink. Um, there's some other like greens. These, this yarn, I actually, if you're looking for a project to knit for like a college student or a teenager or even just a millennial in your life, um, we get excited about cowls like this. <laughs> yes, we do. Um, can so never yeah. go on the cowl. Yeah. And what's great is this can be knit up using just the beginner knitting tutorials plus okay. a brand new one I filmed recently, which I think we're going to cut to, um, that shows you how to knit neater edges of your knitting, um, um. which is something that beginners, once they start getting in the hang of how to knit, 
getting those neater edges that almost look braided, that's oh, yeah. usually the next question. That's like when you start evolving and going to the next level. Okay. So I like how your videos are kind of progressing from the really easy beginner stitches to, okay, now let's talk about the edges yeah. And, yeah. and kind of follow along with Heidi as she teaches you all the basics you need from the supplies to the stitches to the edging and it'll just keep building from there. Yeah, so. totally. So we have that video ready to go, I think. Let's take a look. One complaint that a lot of new knitters have about their work is messy edges. Sometimes the loops on the edges get really big or they just don't like the lumps that they see on the edge of their project. So this little trick, which is super easy, is a great way to make your knitting much more attractive. So if you look at the edge of the knitting I have on my needle here, you'll notice that there's a nice braid on both sides of my work. This piece of knitting, it's the same garter stitch, so that means all knitting, no purling. You'll see that the edges have these little knots all over them, which isn't necessarily the cutest thing. So, to get those pretty braided edges, all you have to do is slip the first stitch of every row. So if you're brand new to knitting, you probably don't know what a slip stitch is. Luckily, it's super easy. So we're at the beginning of our row, and what we're going to do is insert the needle, what's called purlwise, so in front of the left-hand needle. Normally, you would put your needle through like this to knit, but instead, we're going to put the needle in front, and also the tail of the yarn is in front, and slip that stitch off the needle without doing anything at all to it. Then, bring the tail between the two stitches and the two needles, and continue knitting across your row. So if you take a look at the side of your work after you've slipped that first stitch, you can see that it's turned perpendicular, so 90 degrees, it's resting 90 degrees against the flat plane of the garter stitch, which results in that really pretty braid. All right, that was a look at how to neaten up your knitting edges. Um, it's totally the next step after you master that knit stitch, because a lot of people start complaining about their edge stitches being too loose or kind of twisted. Mm. It's a really easy slip, one slip stitch per row to get a really beautiful braided edge. Awesome. Yeah. Very cool. And you're working on a blog post for yes. this, right? So that'll be up later this week. Yep. And it'll give you guys even more information. But hopefully this is useful for all of you. Let's see what Emily has to say. Did anyone have any comments about the infinity scarf or cowl, whichever you want to call it? Yeah, definitely. Um, a couple people on the video, they were like, I never knew this. So always learning, always teaching. Everyone's loving your tutorials and learning how to knit. Someone did ask, um, that doesn't make it shorter on the edges when you do it? Does it affect that at all, or? Nope, not at all. Because um, what it does when you slip the stitch is it just brings it up to the next row and it lengthens the stitch that's on the edge, but it doesn't squeeze it in at all. Good question. Yeah, yeah. 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 good to know. Yeah. Very awesome. cool. So let's just show really quick Lulu's matching. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> Just a little bit. Oh, you don't have to wake up. It's fine. Okay, you won't wake her. But she yeah, she's got some nice little, she's got the yarn around her. It's pretty thick. It's like about <laughs> a half inch, I would say. She's working it. She yeah. is working the scarf. It's her color. It's her yeah, color, it for it sure. All right, thank you so much, yeah, Heidi. Yeah. We'll see you next week with more fun yarn information for all of you guys. Thanks for joining yeah. us. Yep. Bye, guys. I All just right. love that like Lulu has a matching. Style. I know I how cute, so cute, so adorable. That's gonna lead us into our next topic for you guys today, and we have some really cool bead giant products for your jewelry makers. So, Megan, yes. what have you been doing okay. over here with the bead giant stuff? So we have the bee line collection from bead giant, and these are like super on trend right now because the stackable bracelets, I feel like that's kind of been going on for a while and it doesn't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon. And the Beeline collection from Bee Giant makes it super easy to create your own, um, whether you just want char or um, rhinestones or if you want actual a monogram <laughs> bracelet, you can easily do it with this collection. So the collection comes, or you can purchase, I should say, 
three different finishes of the bracelets. There's a silver, there's a gold, and then there's a bronze. And the way that these work, you don't have to, at first I got this and I was trying to move it out like this. I'm like, this is broken. No, I'm just an idiot. So all you do is no, stretch it hard on yourself. Stretch it like this and it goes right on. So there's no fussing with it. I was trying to open it, but you don't have to do that. So all you do is pick the finish. So I'll just show you guys really quickly here how easy this is. You pick your finish and then we have up on the site, we have the little um, initial charms that you can um, that you can choose, and they're in that kind of um, wax seal kind of design. Um, so you can pick your, your letter, and there's also just some plain little rhinestones here, gems that you can add if you don't want to do So you can try to like mix and match yeah. with the charms that you want to use for exactly, your bracelet. Exactly, okay. exactly. So, and what's great about these is all you really need are, you know, whatever components you want, whether you want the initial or if you want just the gems, the bracelet, and then some tools. Everything else you're gonna have because when you open this little package here, it actually comes oops, with the jump ring oh, that you then. need, yes, to attach your um, your charms to your bracelet. So I'll just add one here to kind of show you how easy it is. I'm gonna, grab, I'm gonna grab the little bee charm here. And all I'm gonna do is take one of my jump rings this is great for beginner jewelry makers because it's seriously like the easiest thing you can do. Well, I was going to say, I have the kind of designer version of this at home. Okay, I yeah. meant to bring it today and I completely blanked this yeah. morning when I was getting ready. But you can spend a lot of money buying these mm -hmm. things at the jewelry store and customizing them That's right. with the letters and things like that. Or you can spend less money and make it yourself, make it yourself. which is even more meaningful and feels yeah. better. So and I don't know, I, I don't know how much these are, how much we're selling these for, but I know it's like what under five, maybe. Yeah, the, yeah. The that silver bracelet and the gold bracelet that yeah. you were just showing is, I think, two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So yeah, that's two ninety nine so for the base. For the base, and then. We've got like that charm is a, less than two dollars. Yeah, dollar eighty cents. Yeah, so less than five dollars, you can create what looks like a designer bracelet, but for a fraction of the price. And these would make once again a great gift for Mother's Day. Yes. Great gift for Easter. Even like throw the little kit in your kid's um, Easter basket. But once again, so easy to make. All you're gonna do is take your jump ring here. You're gonna open it up, and I grabbed two here because these are actually pretty tough, which is good. That means they're not gonna open up on you when they're on your bracelet. And then you take your little charm and you run it through the hole. And then you take your bracelet and you run your bracelet right down there on the little jump ring. And then you close it up and you have your I love bracelet. this. How and easy is that? You could choose like your last name for the letter, for your initial. You can choose mm -hmm. your kids' names and do each letter of their first mm -hmm. names or yeah. your grandkids' names. It's a perp, like my, my, uh, Sister-in-law is having a baby like right now. Right now. And this would be a great gift to give her with the baby's initial. Oh, so she yeah. has the bracelet with the baby's initial. So new mom gift. Yes. Shower gift. Shower gift. Like for your friend for like bachelorette party gift. Do a mm -hmm. customized bracelet. With their last name. Yeah. Their new last name. Yeah. And here's just a couple. Um, well, I actually have more than that. I have a few here that I kind of just made up just to kind of show you um, the look of it. That's I'm super gold. excited about this. Right? These. Like look how... How pretty these are. And then here's one in silver. Do we have an M? Because I'm going to be going to the hospital in a little while. Um, Baby Max no, will be born and I, I need an M. I think we do. I have to look. I have to look. We might. I could also do P for their last name. Oh, yes. Peterson. Yes. So. Yeah. So <laughs> I'll be like, and gift on the girl. Let's do this. Um, so yeah, look how fun these are. They're so pretty and you can you can wear them. You can stack them together yeah. for that kind of cool stackable look. But I mean, that's what I do because I actually got... These are so popular that I got two from two different people. Really? Yes. So with different charms, which was perfect. So I could stack them with the yeah. different charms. So yeah, and you could add as many charms as you want, or you could do like I did, just add the single, the single um, initial. So lots of different ways to customize these. Oh, and this one kind of dresses it up. Yeah, I love that. And the fact that you can make your own necklace for less than five dollars. And literally, did I say make it? Buy the bracelet for less than um, less than five dollars, and you can make it in less than like five minutes. Like, yeah, done. So done. so easy. And the look obviously is that of the designer bracelet that's out there right now, but for a serious fraction of the price. So you can't go wrong. Serious fraction of the serious price. Serious fraction. 
All right, Emily, what are you thinking of these? Oh, my God. I might have to add one to my collection. <laughs> I know Megan already made one with an E, so, like, maybe I'll just take that one. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's I, yours. I know. I love it. She always, like, she always uses my name for stuff because it's short, and then I'm like, <laughs> Um, but people, some people have suggested, you know, this is a great activity for like a sleepover or a party. Yeah, yeah. Like it's so, it's really simple, especially for younger girls. Mm -hmm. It's really easy to use. It's really, if you're the host, it's really inexpensive mm -hmm. for you to do, to give them an activity. And it's a great way to get them into doing a craft and they can take something home that's personal and fun. Um, and all you need to make these is just your like, the Jeez. only tool you need is like your pliers, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because it comes with the jump rings. Obviously, you buy the, the bracelet, the charms. It comes with the jump ring. So all you need is the tools. So, I mean, you can't really You can do this it. as like a mom's night or girl's yeah. night. And use the charms to make like wine charms with their, oh, with yeah. their names or things you like that. You can do that too. So you don't even have to just use it for these bases. No. You can do, use it with other things as yeah, well. I like that. And I like the idea of doing like a little kind of like, you know, DIY party or a little craft party. That's such a great idea. I feel like those are becoming a lot more popular lately because when they want to get together, they want to chit chat. So they kind of do like, you know, wine appetizers and then like a little craft. Oh, yeah. yeah. And this is a super easy project that isn't going to overwhelm your guests. People can sit down. They can kind of take their time. They can make, like Katie said, you know, either wine charms or the bracelet or, you know, I'm sure there's other things that there you could probably, maybe even a necklace you could do. So these are a really great way to kind of start what you're making because it is really quick and easy. So... Super inexpensive too. Again, we've linked everything below, so make sure you're scrolling down a little so you can see everything that we're talking about and just really easily find what you're looking for. And add it to your cart. Just add like that. Add it to your cart, just All like right. that. So what do we have next, Katie? Next up is more planner stuff, because you know we love our planners here planner at Watercolor. We're your planner place for Watercolor. planners. And today it's actually a focus on the Webster's Color Crush planners. And I, a long time ago, when we were first introduced to these, dubbed these the prettiest way to plan your yes. day because they really are super gorgeous. Uh, this I is, haven't even looked inside yet, but I love this little tassel detail. Yes. So, so that's cute. my favorite part, actually, yeah. right yeah. now is this extra yeah. little charm that you can get. But they come in A2 and A5. This is the A5 size, which is slightly larger. I write big, so I, it's nice size. I, like, I like a bigger size. I know... I've already been given the cue that a lot have already sold out, so we they, they went really fast because these are kind of the I think older styles maybe yeah, I don't I don't know. know why they went so fast we didn't have that many to choose from but this is one that we still have available the A5 size and I'm just gonna kind of open it up and give you guys a look some of you have seen this some of some of you haven't but when you open this baby up you actually get this cute little ruler that sits right in there, which is really nice and convenient, yeah. especially if you like to write straight or mm -hmm. if you're decorating your planner. And like, I, I use it a lot just for like sectioning off within the week or the oh, month yeah. that you're doing. Creating like so, a grid. Yeah, it's nice to have this and it goes right onto the binder. Nice. It's a really pretty gold Love binding gold. system The gold here. and the pink are so pretty together. Yeah, and you've got six hole punch. So you can just use a regular old hole punch if you want to add yeah. anything else into here. And then you've got some pocket detail here on the left as well. And this color is so pretty. So pretty. So pretty. Then you've got your today is a great day in the gold foil there. So got to love the gold foil. Combining all of our favorite things. Foil. And then when you get into the planner, you can buy these as a kit so make sure you're reading the descriptions there's the planner kit that okay. comes all put together with everything in it or you can just buy the binder so say oh. you already have a planner mm -hmm. and you want to switch colors you can just buy the bi the binder or you can buy the binder and the insert separately That's and kind of know. mix and match how you want to build out. So you don't have to have what the inside is. You can just get the binder if that's all you want. Yes. I didn't know that. That's awesome. Um, so it starts out with this kind of bokeh design and inside it's write it down. So you've got just a notes page with some pretty details on there. With flowers. And then you've got a spot for your memory keeping, which I love. And this is a week in the life. You can just jot down your weekly adventures in one spot here to kind of keep track. This is perfect if you're doing any sort of like project life. Oh yeah. That kind of stuff. So it's a quick glimpse of what you guys did that week. Then you've got lists to love, which is the next one. 
and I'm a list maker. I like to write things down of what I need to do. Yeah. And these are numbered one through 26, and there's a little box where you can check off and a due date. I love um, the due date, and the, I mean, I, yeah. I'm always creating my own boxes, so I like that there's already boxes here for you because I love, I don't like to scratch it out. I like to be able to look back and check. see what I did, so I like that there's a check box. Exactly. Um, and then we've got the next, oh, on the flip side, I shouldn't skip that, is the menu planner. Oh, nice. So you've got the week for the, actually the month, because you got week one, week mm -hmm. two, week three, you can plan your meals and then add your shopping list to the bottom. So keeps everything, everything is nice right and there. compact for you. Then the next tab is staying inspired. And you've got some really fun quote pages and designs and you can cut these up and use them throughout your yeah. planner. You can just disperse them throughout wherever you want so for some inspiration. There's that watercolor design again. Love this one. Little deer. Just begin. It's like, just get started. It's true. Guys. Just, just begin. It. Like, just, just start. Just get going. And then we get to, there's all of that before we even got to the calendar section. So we get to the calendar. This one started in October of 2015, but it goes all the way through the end of this year. So you get until December of oh, nice. 2016. So um, similar to the happy planners we just had, yeah. that there's a few months ahead that you're not going to use, but you can repurpose these however already, you want. We've already given you ways to do that. So. Yes. I Since we even did that on one of our previous broadcasts, I saw people that were taking these and using them as like birthday lists for the months. So oh, that was a really cool idea. Yeah, that's too. a great idea. So I'll just kind of flip, uh, what are we in? We're in February here. I know. So you can see Almost March crazy. You get your two page spread for the month with a quick list thing here on the right for you to write kind of your quick to do's or reminders. And then after you get through the years, there's the weekly view. And again, that's a two page spread. Um, this is just an overview of this week. Then you start with Monday and go all the way through Sunday. Nice. There's a lot of room to write. Yeah. I like um, the horizontal mm -hmm. view of this, mm -hmm. too. And there you've got your planner. In the back, there's also another pocket back here and a little sticker sheet you have that comes sticker. with it because you got to embellish with stickers. And those are so cute. They're like the tiniest little stickers yeah, ever. Yeah, they're probably too small to see the detail on the overhead camera, but there's like little glasses oh God, so and little hats and those bunny ears. flowers, bunny ears for Easter. There's a ton of different yeah. ones to choose from. And then you've got your little, um, what do you call holder. this, pen holder here. So you always have a pen on hand. All of them come with a cute little charm here. And as an extra, they have these tassels. I love the tassels. I love, 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 love. Oops. Oops, as I drop it. I love these tassels. But you can use this sort of as a keychain if you don't yeah. want it on your planner or you can you can really add it to anything. Add actually. it to like your purse. Yes. So this is the gold one and they come in a lot of different colors. I think there's like five or six different colors that you can choose. I don't know why I love tassels, tassels so much. I just do. It's like there's just something about tassels. I don't know what it is. I think but I'm a fan. Every, tassels are having a moment too. Yes. Everyone loves their tassels. Tassels. Um, we were recently talking about the new tassel maker from Clover, which is yes. really cool. The video will be coming soon. Yeah, but this has the nice gold detail on it. You can use it for your planner. You can use it on your notebooks. You can use it as a keychain, whatever yeah. you want. But those are super cute. And there's lots of fun accessories as well. So, Emily. How are people liking Hulu. this planner? <laughs> Hulu, just hang out. Um, no, this planner is really pretty. Actually, as you were flipping through, I even saw some of the monthly dashboards. I hadn't even noticed some of those designs before. Um, so really, really pretty. I love that it comes with the stickers and with the pocket. Lori B was actually saying, um, is it weird that I like mix um, in my planner? I mix between different stickers and everything from different companies and lines no. and themes and it was like no like no. first of all each week needs to be a different theme that's like really the only way you can maximize all the cute stuff out there but I think like changing around your stickers can also be a great way to not like maybe you've like committed to your one planner some people have multiple and that's awesome and I probably couldn't like be on your level at any point in my life but like I think having the multiple stickers yeah. from different lines is such a great way to still kind of have the cute stuff from other places but commit to your one planner you don't want to commit to just one you know brand because there are so many I'm telling so you so many brands yeah. so many cute extras you can add that I would be sad if you didn't you know kind of explore other brands stickers and stamps I if it's planner related it's like yeah 
get in my cart. Yeah, just because I want it all. I don't care who it's yeah. from. I just want it. And I want to be able to switch it up because mm-hmm. I get bored if I do the same thing over yeah. and over again. So it's I'm I'm still trying to figure out so many things. The balance yeah. of <laughs> planners because you want them all. But there's people that have I was reading a blog yesterday that had four different planners for four different things. And I'm like, I would be I would need a planner to plan which planner I'm planning in. <laughs> but okay, right. so Monday is the pink planner, Tuesday is like the blue planner. But what you can do is switch it up too. So since you can buy these binders on their own, if you're feeling like this is really springy mm-hmm. and I love I want to get into the spring mode, you can use this binder. Mm-hmm. If you're if it's more like you could get the winter white if you're feeling yeah. wintry or you can use that all year round. But if you it's like a purse. Yeah. It's totally like a purse or like shoes. You or like have a you, different color for different exactly. occasions. Exactly. That's how you justify it to, you know, people that are giving you a hard time about all of the planners you've collected. It's like shoes. Like, you know, things change, seasons change. You need to, you know, be current with the season. So obviously this pretty pink here, you could use it in the winter, but it feels very springy. So, you know, we're about to right. enter spring. So, of course, you need a springy planner. <laughs> You, you got our seal of You owe here. it to yourself That's what I'm saying. to like the way you plan your day. Exactly. Because it's something that you have to do. Why not make it more enjoyable right. and more creative? So right. if that means multiple planners, multiple stickers, it's fine. By all means. We are the enablers here. Enablers here. We're like, just do it because, <laughs> you know, if it's going to keep you more organized by adding extra stickers, I'm sure your family will appreciate that. So yes. do it. <laughs> They'll always appreciate That's it. Right. For sure. At least that's what we tell ourselves. I know, right? All right. So any more questions over there, Emily? Um, well, somebody is asking about, is there a punch made specifically to do like the six hole punch for this planner? I'm not sure if the A2 also has six holes or just the A5, but like specifically to add pages to this planner. I'm not sure if there's one specifically for this planner. Someone actually was questioning um, if the cinch would work. Oh, uh, we haven't tried it. I don't yeah. think it would line up perfectly. It might. I don't know. We'll we'll test, test it out. It. Yeah, we're always we'll happy to test like, it. Test but for you. what I like about this is that it's. Here, I'm gonna try and take one out to show you. But you can just use a regular old hole punch. Yeah. And you could line up like any sheet of paper. Mm-hmm. Basically, just line up the paper to this. Could make a little dot with your pencil mm-hmm. of where those holes are and then just punch it so you don't need any fancy no. punches mm-hmm. for this particular style you can really easily just kind of hack it yeah um, and add anything that you want to this and then of course you have your pockets too if you didn't want a hole if you had like a picture that you didn't want punches in but you wanted it somewhere in your planner you could you could store those Stop in the pockets in. here this yeah. top pocket too that's really deep too yeah so there's ways around it right just make your own holes so, yeah, we'll test out the yeah. cinch, but I don't think there's one that's, like, specifically made for right. this planner right. that I'm aware of. Just your regular old Just regular punch. hand punch and do the trick. All right, so I think that wraps it up for today. We had so much fun with the watercolor yeah. and with Heidi, with the jewelry, with the planners. It's always fun. Thursday, we have a special guest. That's right. Our Lulu friend, might be back. I don't know, but this is a different guest. Yeah, <laughs> our friend Ken Oliver will be here on Thursday. There's supposed to be like a winter storm, so hopefully he makes I it know, here. Which is crazy. But he's supposed to be here on Thursday, and he'll have his new color burst colors, liquid metals, and some other goodies that you guys probably haven't even seen yet. So we're really, really excited about that. We hope you'll join us then. It's 10 o'clock Central, same place, and we'll be, of course on Periscope right. and on Facebook and everywhere else. So make sure you guys stay tuned and join us for all yeah. of that. We'll hopefully see you guys either tomorrow or Thursday for our next Live with Blitzy. Bye guys, have a great day.